if you're looking to visit, visit this stadium. They got to figure it out here. It's more than a buzz at Bryant Denny Stadium. It's electric. Here comes the tie. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back with bad news about my Alabama Crimson Tide. All these guys entering the damn transfer portal. We got problems. We got problems in Tuscaloosa. <laughs> I mean, damn. The regular season just ended. They ain't even announced what bowl game we're going to be in or nothing. And these guys already getting the hell out of Tuscaloosa. And I wonder why. I wonder why. But anyway, uh, I think it was Monday. We had Damian George and, and, and Trey Sanders to uh, announce they was transferring. Uh, Damian George is an offensive lineman. We know Trey Sanders. He's a running back. Then uh, today, Christian Leary, wide receiver, announced he was transferring. Then we got uh, Trey Sean Holden, another wide receiver, just announced he was transferring. Trey Sean Holden was a was a starter. Getting a lot of playing time. Getting passes thrown to him. Something is going on in Tuscaloosa that haven't been announced yet. Mm, mm, mm. And we got a, we got another defensive lineman here in the transfer portal and a backup kicker. So we got six guys in the transfer portal right now. And we ain't even got to our bowl game yet. Don't even know what bowl game we in. <laughs> and people, and these players are already getting out of there. So it leads me to think something's going on in Tuscaloosa. It's just sad to say, man. It's sad to say. Like I say, Trayshawn Holden was a starter, a starting wide receiver. Christian Leary, his first season uh, was last year. We we had injuries uh, to uh, to our running backs last season, and they switched him from wide receiver to running back. And he did pretty good at, at the running back position, too, when he got the chance to carry the ball. So he went back to his uh, original position as wide receiver. And in the spring, he was killing it. Spring game, he was killing it, too. But, you know, he couldn't seem to get on the field this season. And just like on the CTS Sports Room, uh, you know, Nick Saban Jr. continued to say they're going to make Christian Leary um, transfer. And guess what? He's in the portal. He's in the portal. And I was saying saying the same thing about uh, Trey Sanders. Guess what? He's in the portal. You got these star athletes, and they have proven that they can contribute to the team, and you won't put them on the field. That's just damn ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Nobody, I don't think it was one, not one Alabama fan, who would think Trey Sean Holden would, uh, would transfer. Especially announcing it this early, not even a week after the game, before the last game of the season, after the Iron Bowl, and before the bowl game. That's a damn shame. So something is going on. At least at least Jermaine Burton waited to after the season to see everything that was going to happen to announce he was transferring from Georgia. Trey Sean Holden, he ain't waiting on shit. So, and I, that's four guys off the offensive side of the ball. Who, do, who have seen the field, probably not as much as, you know, other players, but they haven't seen the field. Damian Jordan played in a, in a few games. Uh, Trey Sanders, you know we haven't seen him on the field, not as much as we would like, but we haven't seen him on the Matter of fact, he made contributions last year in the playoff games because uh, the other two guys was hurt. Well, he, he contributed more than the playoff games last year because he, he did get a lot of playing time last year because Jason McClellan and Roy Dale Williams uh, went out. One was early and then the other was about middle of the season. So Trey Sanders contributed a lot last season. But this year, he couldn't seem to get on the field unless it was garbage time. Yeah, and, and that wasn't much. So he out of here. So it is, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But like I said, Damian George, Trey Sanders, Trey Sean Holden, they got playing time, it was, and Christian Leary got playing time last season. I can't remember, but maybe two times he got on the field this season. But anyway, 
It's, it's, it's me. We got some issues in Tuscaloosa. I'm telling you not. I'm, I'm going to tell you what I believe it is. And I hate to say it. I hate to even think it. I think these guys getting out of here because uh, Bill O'Brien might be coming back. That, 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 that's, that's just my opinion. That's what I'm thinking. These guys don't want to play under this guy. And it's, it's, it's sad to say that Nick Saban, if Nick Saban don't get rid of Bill O'Brien, it's bad to say that uh, he can't see what everybody else is seeing. I know we just fans, but hell, if fans can see it and, it and it is fact, then why can't he see it? Is it the good old boy system at, at Alabama right now? That's what it seems like to me. How they call it the in the Army, the buddy system. We're taking care of our buddies. That's what it seems to be in Alabama. So I guess as long as Bill O'Brien don't want to go nowhere, Nick Saban ain't going to send him on his way. And I tell you what, it's going to be the fall of a great dynasty. So we might have to get ready for some hard times, Alabama fans. So we'll, we'll just be crying and sitting back hoping for wins like a lot of other teams. <laughs> if Bill O'Brien and Pete Golden is there to stay. Now, I do, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't think he... Pete Golden is going nowhere. I, I really don't believe that, the way Nick Saban talk about this guy and what he been doing, even though, Lord have mercy. That dude can't even make adjustments on a torque wrench. Nonetheless, a damn defense, it's a damn shame. But anyway, it is what it is, and I'm telling you, we're going to have more guys in that transfer portal. We may just lose several players. And Trayshawn Holden might not be the only starter that, that'll be on his way up out of Tuscaloosa, I might add. But uh, we'll see how everything work out uh, after this bowl game. But uh, Nick Saban, you do need to get rid of uh, Bill O'Brien. If you don't do nothing else, if you don't get rid of nothing else, you definitely need to get rid of uh, Bill O'Brien because – there's a lot of other candidates out there, man. That's better. A lot of them. There's a lot of candidates out there better than uh <laughs> than than uh Pete Golden. And I can name one right now. And that's uh Derek Mason. I know he somewhere else right now, but I'm sure he'll love to come to Alabama and be a defensive coordinator. Charlie Strong, among others. There's a lot of other better candidates out there than Bill O'Brien and Pete Golden. I already mentioned the offensive side of the ball. Joe Brady. I love him. Dan Mullen. And uh, I know Spencer and, and, and Nick Saban Jr. And, and they done named uh, another guy. I can't think of his name right now. They done named another. Who they think is, well, I'm sure he better than damn Bill O'Brien. Who ain't? So, but anyway. I just wanted to put that out there, that we got some issues in Tuscaloosa, and uh, they they don't seem like they're going to be solved in the near future. So, might as well get our Kleenex ready, Alabama fans, because uh, it's about to go down. Roll damn tide.